every day with your preschool children. It is the most important activity you can do to ensure their success in life. Seven. Yes, seven. This video is not about teaching young children to read. It is about helping you, the parent or caregiver, share books with your children and pass on to them the adventures and excitement of stories. The benefits of sharing books with your children are enormous. You are stimulating their imagination, connecting them to a larger world, giving them a sense of security, and forming one of the best memories they will have of you when they are older. One part yellow. When you share books with your children, you help them develop a love of books, and you give them the foundation for lifelong success. your kids set the pace. Sometimes I want to go slow. Sometimes I want to go fast. Sometimes I want to go backwards. Sometimes I want to be upside down. And sometimes I want to read the book to you. When you let your child set the pace, you're working within their attention span. You'll have a better idea of what they're able to sit for, and they'll enjoy and understand the story that much more. I used to read to Peter like how I'd read to myself, from the beginning all the way to the end, page by page, making all the correct phonetic sounds. But he wasn't happy that way. He doesn't think that way. He's a three-year-old. So we'll read from like the end, go to the beginning, or even start in the middle and work backwards to the beginning. We'll even make up words to the story. Um, we'll make the sounds that we think the animal would make, like a duck would say, quack, 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 we'll do that. <gasps> Look at that. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. <gasps> what happened? Look, spider went down. And, and it's interesting because he gets more out of the story Along than the just, fan. you know, what Along the plot of the road. story is. So I'm they, the, I'm the bubbles. Oh, yes, the bubbles. Yes, he climbed up the yellow path. Sharing a book is an emotional experience. It is about telling stories, not just reading the words. It sounds the same. You can't seem to read a book. A book without words is a fun way to learn to read the pictures. I like this page with all the sheep. But you can still find a pig. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. What is that, a pear? Apple. Apple? John's real rambunctious himself, you know. It takes a lot for him to, to really sit down. So when I introduce the book to him, I do it really slow. You know, I, I read through a couple pages, or I, uh, you know, I flip through it a little bit, get him interested. It takes about a week for us to get through the whole book. But, uh, you know, after that, a couple days, it's... It's pretty much one of his favorite books when I'm done. No, that's six. No, that's six. I don't know, but I can hear Oh, this Reading to a child is different than reading to yourself. Take your child's lead about where they want to go in the book and how fast they want you to read. Sometimes there are good little piggies. If they are asking questions and are attentive, you know that you are in tune with your child. Read aloud to your child every day. Story time with my mom and dad is my special time. My mom reads me all over the place. I'm never bored with her. It's important to read to your child every day, even if it's just for a few minutes, because this will instill a love of reading that will last them a lifetime. And reading skills will set the stage for school success, and school success sets the stage for life success. And the mouse is now with him. The real benefits of reading to Jonathan came out when I started to read to him regularly. Started to read five minutes a day because that was the only time he could sit still. 
And once we discover the fun of it, we will sit and read for 15 minutes or longer. What is the kitty doing in here? Can you growl like the bear? <coughs> Reading to him encouraged him to focus on one book. <coughs> and I was so surprised how quickly he, he became attached to a reading time. The benefits of reading aloud every day to your child cannot be emphasized enough. Reading aloud stimulates their imagination, broadens their interests and tastes, and connects them to a larger world. A child is never too young to be read to, and it's never too late to start. And it only takes a few minutes every day. I read to Ariel everywhere we go, at the uh, doctor's office, at restaurant. In the car we have books. Taking the books along um, is, is very important because we're so busy. I don't usually have time uh, in the morning or in the afternoon, but we, everywhere we go, we have them so we can sit together uh, any time that she wants books and we can read together. And they hugged until they were green. Flower, some salt. Reading has become an important part of our life. Look, she bought some flowers. Milk. Creating a language-rich home for your young child is easy. Give them access to books and involve them in your everyday reading and writing tasks. I see we're running a little low on oil. I suggested to my wife that we take 15 minutes out of the kids' TV time in order to make time to read to them. At first there was a lot of resistance, but now they would much rather be reading with us. It was absolutely worth it. They, they love totally it. love it. Look black cat down in the barn, keeping my small kittens warm. We started reading to our kids when they were just babies. And uh, now that they're in school and kindergarten, reading is uh, simply part of their lives. Uh, we don't have to get them to read anymore. They just do it. Dipped his tail into a bowl of shiny red berry juice. And no matter how bad my day has been, I know that I've got a lot of time by reading to my son. She sang a song without any questions, full of color and joy. At the end of the day, the lion climbed back down the mountain over the hill and home to his cave. It's okay to make mistakes. The stories my dad reads to me make me dream the best old dreams. Yesterday, my dad read me Baby Beluga. What is a Baby Beluga? We don't know, so we're going to look it up tonight. It's okay to make mistakes when you read to your child. It doesn't matter how well you read. The idea is just to share the story. Your child just wants to hear your voice and be close to you. And rotate on I was scared to read to my boy. Desired. I don't read very well, and I was afraid that he would learn my mistakes. But now I know that when I make mistakes reading, um, it just teaches him to learn from his mistakes. Kids don't judge you, they just want quality time with you. And now the dolphin is swimming here. The pink dolphin is in front. Your voice is one of the most powerful tools you have for calming and creating a sense of security for your child. Your voice matters more than correct grammar or expert reading ability. Your voice will hold your child's attention. Time they reach the end of the cornfields at the foot of the hill. I was worried that Luis would pick up my accent when I read to him in English. They decide to go but that is not true. Sometimes I read in Spanish, sometimes I read in English. He needs to hear my voice. No one can take my place. Run to the place where the kite had fallen. Books. I learn from my children as much as they learn from me. I tell them a story and it helped me to improve my English. It's fun for all of us. 
encourage your child to participate. My dad lets me turn the pages. My mom wants me a story about a way I have a way We read a story about a little red bird at school. Today I found all the little birds and I counted them. Two. When you encourage your child to participate in the story, it gives them a greater understanding of the real world, and it also brings the reading experience back to them on an emotional level. When you tie the pieces or characters in a story back to your child's experiences, they will relate to the book, and they will start to ask questions because they become naturally interested. Reading aloud will provide you with many experiences to share and creates a strong bond in the family. Show mommy genie. Show mommy the genie that comes out of the lamp. The we read books all over the house. And so he's at that age where he does hit them, he throws them, he really likes to tear, tear them apart. So I buy the big, thick board books. They really work for him and they last a long time. Okay, we'll start from the beginning. Hi. There is no right or wrong way to share a book. Let your child turn the pages. Let them tell the story. Soon, they'll be reading to you. Nothing is more wonderful than developing a love of reading together with your children. Share books with your children and you've done enough to give them a very bright future.